Hi guys, welcome back to uh, another Prospector's Cash live stream this week. Uh, today, I, uh, the topic is going to be talking about metal detecting accessories and, you know, you guys can share what you use and I'm going to share what my setting, uh, my system is for both uh, water hunting and for land hunting. I'll show you all the, the accessories that I have. It, I try to keep it as minimal as possible. I don't like carrying a lot of stuff out into the woods. Uh, so I, I keep it as low as uh, I possibly can. Uh, hi there, John Wright. Looks like we got him in the uh, room. We got Bill Weezer, we got Jay here. So we're starting to get a few people in here. But I wanna talk about um, underwater detecting accessories and land hunting accessories. Uh, but before we get into all of that, high NC Relic Hunter, uh, before we get into that, I want to talk about the subscriber appreciation giveaway. We're really close. We need 67 uh, people. I'm trying to get it where you can see that on the screen. Uh, we need 67 more people. It's at 943. As soon as we hit 1,000, we're going to have a live drawing on the, on the live screen. And... Uh, Hopefully that comes up here pretty soon. I'd like to, if we could get 67 more by next weekend, that would be the next uh, live stream. That'd be awesome. Um, and another thing I want to talk about, we have the Lano Treasure uh, show coming up. And that show is uh, March 23rd and March 24th. They call it the greatest little treasure show in Texas. Uh, you can find out more about that on uh, uh, the website they have there. The website is texastreasureshow.com. Once again, that's texastreasureshow.com. And uh, we're going to have more, more information coming up here as we get into March. It's going to be a really good, big treasure show here in Texas. So hope any of you guys from Texas can get down here into Atlanta, Texas. Uh, to see that a few weeks after that, we've got a big uh, thing going on here. The uh, the solar eclipse is supposed to happen. I believe it's April 3rd here in uh, Central Texas. And man, is this area just all the RV parks are booked, all the motels are booked. They say there's going to be hundreds of thousands of people come here because. This is where the uh, main, the, the best view for the uh, solar eclipse is coming. It's supposed to be here in, in Central Texas. So that's gonna be kind of neat. And uh, we want, we're looking forward to, to getting that up. And uh, so let's just get right into it. I wanna talk about metal detecting accessories and you guys can share what you guys uh, uh, use for accessories. Um, I like uh, a lot of different kinds of accessories for land and different accessories I use for underwater. But the biggest accessory that we have over here, and I'll just get it, is a good digging tool. And uh, this one right here was made in the USA. It is a uh, Predator. Phoenix, I believe it is. Um, it has a T handle. I prefer the T handle over the ring handle. Um, and also, I'll tell you why I like this shovel. This shovel here has, if, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's curved right here. So when you, a lot of them are straight, and when you dig and you pry back, it damages the, the grass on the back side. So you can't put a plug back in there and not have it look like that uh, you weren't there. So I like this curved design because when you go into the ground and scoop, it kind of like goes under. So when you're prying the plug out, it comes out nice and neat and it doesn't damage uh, the grass that you're prying on. So this is my number one accessory. Uh, this is the, and I got links to products in the, uh, below if you guys are interested in seeing what they are but this is the predator 
um, Phoenix, and I believe they're around ninety dollars for those. And that's my number one favorite digging tool. Uh, my second favorite digging tool is this guy right here. If you're trying to dig a real narrow hole and you know you're you got root bound or something like that this digging tool also a t-handle um i don't know who this one's made by it looks similar to a predator make it might be made by i mean phoenix make it looks similar to what they would make but i like this one right here if you're digging like a, a deep hole that's shallow uh jay says he owns the Predator digging tool with a D handle on it. And uh, that I, I haven't tried that D handle, but I, I like these because I can kind of grip it and drag it along behind me as I'm protecting. Uh, for, I'm going, this is, I know this is kind of water hunting, but it's not really water hunting. And this is controversial. Uh, a lot of guys have the ones with carbon fiber and this one is about i oh god it's at least 30 years old it's built really solid uh, i actually had this custom built for me and it's made out of stainless steel and i put a nice soft handle up here and i can just drag this along the beach it's really heavy it's about 10 pounds and i'll tell you why i like something this heavy if you're getting out into the surf, you can see this has been used a lot. It's got magnets in the bottom of it there to get your iron. It's really got a big opening on it. And I'll tell you why I like this one right here better than I do like the Extreme or the carbon fiber ones is because it is heavy. If you get out in the surf with a lot of waves and the waves are pushing you around quite a bit, um, I find that a heavy digging tool is a lot better at weighting itself down and the waves aren't pushing around so it's easier to uh, dig with a heavier digging tool than it would be one of those carbon fiber lightweights yeah the carbon fiber lightweights are good but i designed this one so i could just drag the bucket on the back of the ground and just drag it behind me i just kind of have a clip on my belt that i clip this on to and I just drag it from that belt behind me as I'm detecting, and I only pull it out when I detect. Um, so the next digging tool I have is kind of unique. It's built, it's basically, you'll see here, this thing here is built, it's basically built out of a, uh, caulking gun and all that happened is instead of having the caulk tube up here this is a muff muffler price pipe with a handle on it up here so when you go into the ground just basically to use this you push it down into the ground and you can work it around and it cuts uh, a nice uh, two and a half uh, I'll, I'll actually it's two and three quarter inch plug so you can pull the plug into here and if you're on manicured ground what i find is uh, uh that this tool is really good like if you're on a golf course this is kind of similar to the tool they use to make the the holes in the golf course and it's it's kind of works the same way so if you're on a really like you know where they've got sod and you want to dig and you're not wanting to leave any hole or any trace of a hole at all if you pinpoint really well push this guy into the ground like so and when you get ready to uh, put it back in the ground you just kind of work the handle like so and what it does is it pushes the plug back into the ground so it wouldn't work really well in rocky areas but if you're on topsoil and a manicured lawn this is the ticket it it will not leave a trace like i said they use something similar to this on golf courses and it's kind of fantastic in that uh you know they basically uh 
uh, it's, it doesn't leave any trace whatsoever. So this is a kind of a cool tool. Uh, I've used it several times when people call me out and they have a manicured lawn that they want uh, me to, you know, find something for them. And, uh, you know, it's a uh, pretty good tool. Uh, as you can see, it only goes down probably eight inches deep. But usually on a manicured lawn, nobody lost nothing any deeper, or, or there's nothing to be found deeper than that. What I had a case where I used this is somebody lost something, and I couldn't get out there right away, and I got out there three months later, and they had laid sod over the top of where they lost it. So uh, I actually, when I went to look for it, didn't want to tear up their yard so I used this tool right here and uh, was able to recover it and you couldn't even tell that I dug the hole. The next thing that everybody wants, I'll just bring both of these up here, um, is a good digging tool and on land I prefer the gray ghost uh, ultimate pouch it's a really it's got a lot of pockets on it you can put your digging tools and your uh, uh, all your you know stuff inside here and these work really good on land and this is my go-to treasure pouch so if you're looking for a good treasure pouch I love it it's got like holes in the bottom so all the dirt will you know kind of sift and fall out Every one of these pockets have holes in them so that, you know, if you got in water or something, it would work really good. But I prefer this one on land. The reason I don't use it underwater is it doesn't drive, dry very fast. Uh, and it's kind of, you know, kind of like, uh, I don't know, has a wet clothes feel to it. So I don't use this underwater as much. And to wear that pouch, I use a, I have a, Core Essential, this is a really strong gun belt. It's like really super stiff and I have it adjusted to my size. Um, so basically this this gun belt is what holds that pouch up. And I like this one because I can adjust it to whatever size I am and then it just clicks right there with the pouch on this uh, thing. It works really good. So. <clears throat> this, a stiff gun belt like this, I think is, you can see that's really stiff, is the way to go. I do, you know, the other belts kind of are flimsy and they flop around on you, but I found that a really stiff belt uh, works good. This actually, I to said it's Core Essentials, it's actually a Vetter. I do have a Core Essentials that has a ratchet on it so that I can adjust how tight it is. But this one are just pretty easy. It's got a Velcro right here uh, on it. You can see the Velcro and you can adjust it. Once I get it adjusted to my size, I, I find it, it just uh, stays the way I need it. And wouldn't go complete if you didn't have a good pair of gloves on land. Here's the ones I like. These are mechanics gloves. You can pick up coins with them. Um, you know, I like them. They're, uh, you can see these are well used. Uh, but you want a good set of gloves so you don't cut your hands on glass and stuff like that. Other Southern Relic Adventures hire you. And uh, so I use these gloves and uh, they go right along with, you know, the detecting pouch and stuff like that that I was talking about. And I don't think any Accessory would be complete without a good pen pointer. On land, I like to use the XP MI6 pen pointer. Uh, the reason I don't like this one underwater is XP has an issue um, with their caps on the top of these. If you screw them down, this one's never cracked and I have used this one underwater. But I'm always leery because I've heard people having these caps um, crack. And when they crack, they leak water really bad. So I've kind of dedicated this guy as my land only uh, uh, 
pinpointer and you'll see I've got a, like a bungee on here. This is, I forget the guy's name, maybe somebody knows that he develops P cord and it's, uh, he's a veteran. Uh, he does a lot of stuff for, for uh, he's a disabled veteran and he makes these things. I think he's somewhere close out in North Carolina where he's from, but uh, I don't know, I don't remember. You can just look up P cord, I think is, is uh, uh, what the guy's name is. Any guys know what who this is, let me know. Uh, but he's, he's developed these, they really work great. I like them because when you drop them, they'll, they're real stretchy and you can stretch them out and pinpoint your target. And they hold a lot better than those uh, ones that, you know, have curly uh, plastic wires on it. So that is uh, uh, the, my land hunting machines. And I'm gonna stop right here and show you the brand new I've never used it. This is the brand new Mind Lab Xterra Pro that we're going to be giving away. I'm going to be putting it back in that box and shipping it to somebody. We're going to be giving that away once again. Uh, we're going to give it away on a subscriber appreciation giveaway. Like I said, it's on the you go to the main channel, Prospectors Cash, you subscribe. And you watch the video on there and it tells you how to win this detector right here for free. Really nice detector. Somebody's gonna really love that. And we're really close to 1,000 subscribers. We need, uh, I believe it's 67 more subscribers and we will hit that number. So be sure to like and subscribe and go to the video and uh, watch that video on there and uh, we'll get it going. Uh, Bill Weezer says he uses a re retractable lanyard. And uh, yeah, I, I've seen those like a, it's got like a, it winds it up kind of like a power cord. Uh, hi Ron, Ron E. Adventures is on here. Got him showing up here. So we've got a few people coming in still and I've already, <laughs> I've already talked about a lot of accessories I use. Um, I'm going to talk about the uh, land, the underwater accessories. And for underwater, none of them would be complete without my Blue Nemo or my Blue Nomad Mini that I'm supposed to be getting here uh, when they come out and uh, uh, have more in production. I'm supposed to be getting one, uh, I believe, at the early April, mid-April time frame. So, and the good thing about the system, if you've had a Blue Nemo, uh, the Blue Nomad Mini will use the same batteries as the Nemo, but you can put two batteries in there and you can go 20 foot deep uh, on the Nomad Mini. And this one's only good for about 10 to 12 feet. So that is a good, uh, good unit. That's what I use underwater. And I forgot to mention on land, obviously, uh, you know, your headphones, I forgot to mention those. Choose whatever headphones you like. I like a full ear cup on, the, on mine. Uh, some people like those little ones that come with the XP Deus. I don't personally like them. I like the full cup, even if I'm sweating. I just like them because I can hear better. And that's my preferred one. And another thing on land that I use, I always put down, if I'm on manicure to land, I put down a little towel that I keep hanging on my uh, pack. I put that down and clip it off there and put that down on the ground so that when I shovel my dirt onto this towel, it will, uh, I can just dump it back in the hole and not make a mess on the hole. So that's a, a good uh, thing to, to use. Okay, so let's go back to the water. Um, I, know you, I know I showed you that I like the Gray Ghost for land. For underwater, I prefer this one from Detect Ed. Uh, it's, you know, it basically has two pockets here. And this is my goodie side. 
and inside this goodie side right here it has one pocket on top one here on the bottom it has a ring inside the thing so you can actually hook your rings as you find them just hook them right to this thing so you have it double safe and then you then you can put that ring i'm going to try to hold it up here where you can see it it's like a ring thing you just put it back in the pouch holds your rings and your jewelry which that's the main reason for water hunting is you find more rings and jewelry um, this the only thing i don't like about it if you notice it i talked about the belt this belt's floppy i don't like it uh, that's the only thing i would change on it uh, it does have a little clip here so you can put your pin pointer on. I'll show you which pin pointer I use underwater. But um, it's a good it's a good unit. I typically wear it um, up high. I actually clip it around my chest area up here. I like to wear them a little higher when I'm diving. So I clip them like under my arm here. And that way, you know, it's easy underwater to just look down and put the put them right in there whereas on land I can wear stuff a little lower so um, so that's my uh, uh, underwater pouch uh, my favorite pinpointer underwater is the quest this thing is actually deeper than the uh, uh, XP MI6 it has the magic holster on it so when you pull this thing out of the holster it turns itself on. And the reason it's not coming out right now is I got a, a, a safety cap on the end of it. Um, but I plan on making it through the hole a little bit bigger on this pouch. I actually don't use the pouch. I actually put the pin pointer with a P cord on it inside uh, my detect head pouch. And uh, so that's, that's my preferred unit. This unit here will also show you ferrous and non-ferrous similar to what the uh, Nocta Accu uh, pinpointer Accu, I don't get the name of it, Accu point or whatever. But uh, th that's another another good one is I like that Nocta, new Nocta, my friend David has one of those. And those are pretty, pretty good units. Um, the next thing that I like and I have the P-cord on it as well, a little longer P-cord. But what I did is, you know, I went down to Ace Hardware. They didn't have any scoops I liked underwater. I didn't like them big square ones with holes in them. But I went down to Ace Hardware and I found this scoop right here. It's made for shoveling uh, pellets into a wood stove. And it was solid. It didn't have any of these holes in it. So I went to my drill press and I drilled holes that were uh, where a dime and a small rings would not fall through it. And this is really my go-to when I'm uh, underwater. I really like this a lot better than a big bulky one. This, this works great. It's a four inch uh, scoop that I made out of uh, the the, uh, uh, it's a four inch scoop that I made out of the pellet stove thing. Hey, my good friend Marty Jones is on here and then looks like he uh, told his friend Martin Lawrence about it. They must be watching on Facebook. Hi Marty, how are you? The next thing you gotta have, especially if you're a YouTuber, and I love these masks. This is the Octo Mask. And you'll see it has a mount up here where I can mount my uh, GoPro up here so I can do underwater videos. This GoPro mount's mounted right to the Octo Mesh. It comes that way. It's not an add on, it actually comes with the scuba mask on there. So that's my favorite as a diver. I really like this Octo Mask. And I love the ones too that are split frame. If you get one that's a solid piece of glass, they do sell it. It's just not as rugged for underwater. And especially for treasure hunting, you're on the bottom and you're bumping around and you cause leak. This is a rigid frame, the uh, double. And I, it's low profile, so I have really good visibility with this thing. So that is my suggested uh, 
uh, mass that you use while you're underwater. And for gloves, I don't like those mechanics gloves. What I found works best underwater for, and you want gloves for hooks and stuff like that. I got these from Ace and they're rubberized on one side. Um, they work really good underwater and the reason I like them is if you know you're down there with fishing hooks and stuff like that you don't want to get punctured on uh, your finger and you know that kind of thing and these hold up pretty well to uh, getting punctured plus there's a lot of uh, broken glass and stuff like that under under the rivers here in Texas so uh, I uh, I really like like that so get yourself a pair of these ace they work really good other thing that you'll need is I strap this with all my cash and any important stuff I strap this to my blue Nemo and let it float up on the surface this is just a box that I can put my stuff in and uh, I'm gonna open it here so you can see it it just latches I have in there koozies and extra weight belt uh, hooks and things like that um, you know for floating down rivers I carry uh, inner tube uh, tools that you can let your air in and out of your inner tubes and take the valve stem out so that's that's cool I do a lot of tubing rivers and this is pretty good to slap strap to your blue Nemo or you can strap it to uh, your inner tube and they'll just float down the river nice and watertight and uh, works great. So, the, one of my other favorite tools is the knife, and this is a Tusa Expert 2 knife. When you're underwater, you can easily get tangled up in all kinds of stuff. Now, this has a safety latch on it, and you can actually, um, you know, push the safety latch and get your knife out underwater. Um, mine's stuck with sand, I think, there you go. So um, I'm gonna have to clean that out, it's got sand in it. But um, it's a regular diving knife, if you get tangled up in fishing line, it's just an extra safety to have a good diving knife. So I always recommend you carry a really good diving knife. Um, I've been tangled up in fishing line and you get tangled up in 100 pound tests on the beach and you know it's really sucked you, you give your, it's, that stuff is really difficult to, to break and it's easy to get tangled up and tethered to a dock or something where you can't get to the surface so a good knife is always necessary plus you know um, if you you know some kind of for instance, uh, I, I got one time I got on the bottom and there was uh, an anchor that was down there and it was uh, tied to the bottom and I wanted to bring it to the, the surface and this knife helped me cut the uh, wire to bring that anchor to the surface. It was a nice big anchor and I really liked it. So anyway, recovered an anchor using this thing. Pretty good unit. And lastly, the metal detector you guys know I use is the XP Deus 2, but that's not what I'm going to talk about here. Um, what I'm going to talk about is, I, you know, I've got the regular headphones for um, the normal detector. And what I find is uh, I, you can't hear with normal headphones. So I like these here, the bone conductor headphones that XP makes, but I've modified mine. You'll see it's, I cut the piece that goes across the back of your head. I got a big head and these things wouldn't sit flat. So I cut that piece on here and I have these where I can slip them behind each ear. And the way I hold them in place is I put a diving boot on like so and trap it like that and they're nice and secure and uh, you can hear a lot better using something like that but it's just a little modification i made to these uh, i cut that back strap off so they fit a little bit better so that is my total setup 
Uh, any of you guys have anything that uh, you use? You can share that in the comments. Uh, I bet Southern Relic Adventures and NC Relic Hunter has some good uh, tips and things that they use when they're out uh, uh, detecting for relics. Uh, of course, there are all kinds of other people on here that uh, uh, detect. So, uh, you know, it just different people use different tools. And, uh, I, I, you know, I, those are the tools I use. So, looks like that, you know, we hadn't, don't have anybody posting on here. And I just want to thank you guys that did stop in. Uh, we'll go down our list here of some of the people that stopped in to, tonight. We had uh, John Wright here stop in. Bill Weezer, thank you, John. Thank you, Bill. I appreciate you showing up. Jay, I appreciate you showing up. NC Relic Hunter, thank you so much for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, we have Southern Relic Adventures that showed up on here, and I really appreciate his support of the channel and showing up. I sure do appreciate that. We have Ron E. Adventures on here. Hi, Ron. Thank you for supporting the channel. We have Marty Jones, who is a really good friend of mine, uh, plays pool really well, nice guy, and I've known Marty uh, for a long time. When I say a long time, I mean a long time. Um, thank you, Lake Pollock. Thank you for showing up. Appreciate it. Uh, that looks like a nice drone that you have there for your uh, deals. I uh, really liked it. And... Uh, I like drones. I really am looking for like a Mavic drone. I'd really like to add one to the channel, but they're kind of expensive. And then, you know, I don't know about the pilot's license and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, one of these days I'm gonna add a drone to the channel so that I can metal detect the area. I mean, uh, put a drone up in the air over the areas that I go metal detect. And Ron E. Adventure says, cheers on here. And uh, guys, that's about all I have for this week's live stream. We've been on here about 40 minutes. Um, I just want to encourage everyone to uh, talk to their friends, get somebody to subscribe so we can give away this Mind Lab metal detector back here. I'm going to be giving that away to one of my lucky subscribers. And this video that you, if you go to the main part of my channel, and you subscribe and watch the video and you'll enter a keyword in off of that video in the comments and once you enter that keyword in here you could win this mind lab xterra pro metal detector back here uh the one that there's a box to it we're going to put it back in the box and i just took it out because i'm doing videos on how to use it and uh, uh basically I'm doing a video on uh, putting it together, how to use it, all that good stuff. So that video will be coming out soon once I'm pleased with how it works. Uh, and uh, Lake Pilot says here, you need a 107 to monetize your video, but it's not terribly hard to achieve. Yes, I, yeah, I know that's what I was talking about. Lake Pilot is getting a uh, license to do it. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna definitely want to monetize this channel to help pay for the cost of editing the videos and all my camera equipment and stuff like that. So far, all I've done on this channel is spent money. I really haven't made a nickel on anything. Uh, and I've spent a lot of money giving away stuff. We give away pin pointers and metal detectors and things like that. So I'm spending a lot of money on this channel trying to improve it and make it work better. So I want to thank everyone for turning out today and uh, you guys have a blessed week and I'll see you next week. Hopefully we get 67 more people on here. Right, that's what I think I need. I got 943. I need 67 new subscribers to hit my 1000 goal. And uh, if you guys you know have any friends, tell them about the channel get them to subscribe and watch the videos uh, 
the watching the videos really helps me out too because we get more uh, uh, more uh, watch time that way. And Ronnie Adventures, I say Ron is from Canada. I see a Canadian flag there. So, Ron, you have a nice week as well, buddy. And thank you for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. And uh, you guys have a blessed week. Talk to you later.